Welcome back to Stoffer Garage, everybody. And today we're detailing a car that came from the auction to a local dealer looking just like this. This is an F-250 pickup and it's just straight up nasty. And this thing takes a ton of time to get clean. And we're gonna be taking apart the entire interior to get this thing looking like new again. But if you are new, hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you turn on those notifications. Give this video a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and get this interior ripped apart. Now before I pull out anything in the car trash wise, I try to get the seats out so that way I can get a pretty good idea of all of the debris inside the vehicle, which as you can see here, uh, it, is, it is straight up nasty. It's covered in dirt. The good news is that the entire floor is actually a rubberized uh, interior. This is with, you know, with a lot of work trucks, they have these as an option and it will be the saving grace for all this dirt and grime that has been collected in here to getting it clean, to be honest. If it was carpet, it would be a whole different story. Um, but with it being a rubberized floor, it makes it a ton easier for myself. Um, and also wear and tear wise, it doesn't wear through as fast as carpet does. Now for all you detailing junkies out there that do buy stuff from foxclean.com, I definitely want to let you guys know that if you want to buy products from foxclean.com, use the coupon code PLUSH15. It'll be linked in the description box below for you guys, so that way you can get 15% off in your first order to get your drying towels, your detailing brushes, your you know your regular microfiber towels, your pet hair brushes, and then also we have some new stuff coming out really soon that you guys are going to be excited about. And later on the video, you might see a sneak peek of what's to come on foxclean.com. Now I want you guys to comment down below, what are your top detailing must haves to get the job done? For me personally, my top four that I can name off really quickly is a vacuum all purpose cleaner, drill brush and detailing brushes, and then microfiber towels. With all four of those products, you can accomplish pretty much anything. That is 99% of my details is using those products. Everything else, like when it comes to washing the exterior and stuff is obviously different products, but with the interior, those are definitely my must have go-tos that I will use majority of the time. So make sure you comment down below your detail and must have so that way I can see what you guys use whenever you detail your truck or car.
Now for the rear part of this seat, I use steam to clean the back part fabric. Um, later on, I just use all-purpose cleaner to kind of show you a side-by-side -side comparison. The good thing about steam is it doesn't oversaturate it and it's also a non-chemical product, um, but it does take longer to make sure that you get into those fibers and sometimes it does help with antimicrobial, um, but depending on the type of cleaner you use, you can accomplish that as well. But I did want to show you both processes, so later on on the other seat, I'll show you what the all-purpose cleaner does when it comes to removing the dirt. Now when it comes to detail on a lot of these cars, a lot of people ask how I can actually accomplish these things. Um, it's definitely a test of perseverance, and this goes with anything in life. If you have something difficult that you're working on, you know, you have moments of motivational drop. It's, it's just truly what happens. You kind of get, de you know, demotivated, you kind of get tired, but then you just got to realize that the end result is always worth it and the hard work put in is what you get out of it. So for me, perseverance and just knowing that when I get done with this thing and if I make sure I go through every little detail, no pun intended, um, it'll be definitely worth it in the end and that's just how life works. Perseverance always pays off. Because this truck was covered with a lot of dirt, grime, grease, and everything else kind of caked in there from never being cleaned on the inside ever before, I definitely relied on the steam cleaner a lot to help with blowing out a lot of those you know, caked in particles that just the detailing brush wouldn't get by itself. Um, and I also relied on the drill brush quite a bit just because everything was so caked on there, on the seats especially, that there was no other way that I would have got those clean if I did not rely on the drill brush and the steam cleaner.
The funny thing is with this shot and a couple other shots earlier on, you could actually see some bugs that were inside the car moving around. In this one, I have a stink bug here, but in the vacuuming part, I definitely had some spiders that were crawling out of the nooks and crannies. Now from a process standpoint, when it comes to cleaning these leather seats in this truck, I'm using my leather cleaner and my drill brush to agitate and get all that dirt and grime released and removed from the seats. Um, I typically do not recommend using a drill brush on leather unless it's heavily dirty or doing it infrequently. Um, a detailing brush typically can get the job done, but when you have stuff caked on as bad as this truck did, you really have no choice because you're not going to be able to get it released or removed in a timely manner or at all. Uh, but then once they're cleaned up, I'm using my leather conditioner to, you know, protect the seats, give them back that shine that they had before, but also to, you know, help with, you know, keeping dirt from caking on uh, in the future. Now this shot right here is like I talked about earlier. The previous seat I used a steam cleaner for the back fabric. For this one I'm just using all purpose cleaner, my drill brush, and then a microfiber towel to wipe away all the dirt. And it is shocking how well it works uh, compared to the steam cleaner which just takes a little bit longer. Whereas this way I would recommend anybody do over the steam cleaner just because of an efficiency standpoint.
Now I will say seatbelts are one of the most pain in the butt things to detail just because they're hard to get to and hard to clean efficiently inside the car or truck. And this, in this case with them all removed, this was a lot easier to maintain and get cleaned. Um, I started out with trying to use the detailing brush to see if it would work, um, but I definitely had to switch to a small drill brush, which I sell on foxclean.com if you are interested, that made a much quicker job of it and made sure I got into the fibers a lot more efficiently to get these seat belts cleaned up. And for the dashboard, this was also a smoker's car, so there's a lot of, you know, caked on nicotine and smoke tar and everything else. So I made sure I sprayed my steam cleaner inside the air vents as well to, one, dislodge any dirt that gets caked in there, but two, it also flows through the rest of the air vents as you see in this shot here, and that helps with disinfecting and kind of getting rid of some of that caked in smell that gets in there.
Like I mentioned earlier, the best part about this car interior is this rubberized floor instead of carpet. I was able to make quick work of it by using just a degreaser all-purpose cleaner on the floor and my drill brushes and then wiping them clean with a microfiber towel. It is It makes the job a ton easier, especially if you have a work truck. This is typically an option that most trucks offer and I highly recommend it if you are planning to get a truck um, or finding one and you do a lot of heavy work and you're throwing things in and out, these things make cleanup a ton easier. So for this truck it took a good seven plus hours to get this interior looking brand new again and it took quite a while because that dust gets into every single spot and a lot of that caked on grease took a long time to get done and that's the main reason why this exterior of this truck did not get completed. It also had a little bit of rust on the outside so there's not a whole lot that I could have done with that specific case um, but with a lot of my details when it comes to cleaning up the interior I spend so much time making sure I get into every single spot that a lot of the times the exterior cannot get done in the same day that I work on these vehicles um, so that's why you guys don't see so many exteriors especially when it's completely trashed on the inside like this I just don't have the time to get it done with all the other vehicles I got going on so for this one that's why the exterior was not done but the interior transformation was insane and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video so smash that subscribe button and like button down below make sure you comment your top detailing product go-to's and I'll see you guys next week